Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2019. This time I didn't forget to turn on the mic, I just the settings for whatever reason, whenever the software gets uploaded I have to choose again and um, it, I forgot to choose the right microphone. It had the default one which uh, is not existent I believe and hey man thank you so much for the follow. And so um thank you guys so much for being here sorry that i haven't been too active lately i've just had um a lot of things going on um i played a league challenge yesterday which i won which was really cool with guardi felt really good to win with guardi again maybe i should give guardi another try at a regional level event because i seem to do pretty well with guardi whenever i use it and it always nets me championship points so maybe i should try and use Guardi at my next event. Probably not expanded, but maybe standard. And so guys, um, happy holidays to everyone. Um, either you're watching this right before Christmas or perhaps right after, but happy holidays to everyone. And um, we're gonna be playing some uh, cool chill decks today. We're gonna first start off with a Wailer style deck in order to um, be annoying. Yeah, I feel like I want to be annoying today. Next, we're going to be playing with a Steelix deck, the aggressive Steelix deck that did well at the latest regional. And then finally, we're going to close it out with um, Magnuson Dialga. And so, this deck, its main win condition is going to be Unknown Hand, right? I mean, we're going to try and run our opponent out of resources, but in case or whenever that does or doesn't happen, we are going to be using a known hand in order to declare ourselves the winner if we have um, 35 or more cards in our hand. So we've got to be aware of that. Next up, we have the 4-4 Waylord line. Waylord has 220 HP and its attack Dwindling Wave deals 200 damage and 40 less for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So the attack is decent. Um, it has a very hindering effect but we don't run any energy in this deck anyways. So it's actually not important. What matters is that we have 220 HP and with bodybuilding dumbbells, we're gonna have up to 260 HP. So very difficult Pokemon to take down. And then we have um, other annoying Pokemon in Shuckle GX with its ability Protective Shell. You prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from each of your opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energy attached to them. And then we also have Hoopa, with its scoundrel guard attack. So for example, imagine this, we force, um, or our opponent tries to bar up a puzzle GX with three energy to take down our shuckle and then we go out into the Hoopa, or we have Wailer and they can't even knock it out. Um, we also have one Suicune GX. This is mostly like, it, it can absorb a hit and then um, go back to the deck, but this is mostly so that we never, um, we never deck ourselves out, right? As long as um, this Pokemon is on the bench, you put it back to your deck, and then that's an extra card, and then if it's the last card in your deck, you draw it, you bench it, and you put it back. So it's a never-ending loop in order to prevent decking out scenarios. Then, uh, of course, we're gonna have a lot of annoying things here, um, including four Stevens Resolve so that we can get going. We can search for any three cards and then our turn ends. But afterwards, we have um, four Cynthia and one Copycat to cycle through our deck as well. Um, but we have four Acerola, we have double Faba, we have three Plumeria, we have the Gladian to get anything out of the prizes that we might need, especially the Unknown, which is our win condition. And then we have three Luz, I mean, to reutilize all of these um, really cool, annoying effects. Now we also have Max Potions, we have Enhanced Hammer, we have Crushing Hammer, and we have Triple Counter Catcher in order to get rid of even more opponent's resources. Um, one basic to use Shuckle's GX attack, basic energy could be a decent inclusion. I thought about playing one basic energy precisely for Shuckle, like both of its attacks are actually decent. And um, maybe that would even let us use um, Oran Guru and Aggregor. Okay, so our, like Unknown is there, for when we need to, but the main goal of this deck is not to, um, it's not to actually win by your own hand all the time, 
Yes, like this is not a deck that is trying to rush to the unknown hand condition. This is a deck that is trying to mill your opponent out of resources and then in case they don't give up or in case the deck out is going to take a long time, you have an own hand so that you can win those games where um, it would take too long to win. But the main idea behind this deck is not to win with an own hand, it's actually to deny opponents resources, okay? So I think it's gonna be more clear once we um, try it out on the ladder, you know? Um, so once again, no rank guru because our, my main goal is not to um, to win with a known hand. The main idea for this deck is to um, win by limiting opponent's resources. Now, Rayquaza is probably one of the few decks that um, can probably beat this deck, right? Although Hoopa is going to be very crucial here. Hoopa is probably going to be extremely crucial okay so we are indeed up against um okay i'm gonna bench this again and then i might just put it back um, we are up in, in, indeed against rayquaza which has a lot of energy right a lot a lot of energy and also um guzmas and energy recycle system so it's gonna be a tough grind, this one. It's definitely gonna be a tough, tough grind. Collapsing Gravel, you're in love with Magic or Void Lord and you can't wait for the new stall wall. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Um, the new Star GX goes well with Void Lord. It does add energies, right? But I don't know, 190 HP is not a lot, really. Okay, so one switch gone, that's good, right? The switch being gone is actually really, really good for us. One energy would be pretty decent. To triple poison and pressure right causes into like retreating up or not. Weapon has already lost one Guzma and one switch effect, so that's really good. Now, oh wow, under the assumption that he has 14 basic energy we have to keep that in mind right we really have to keep that in mind and there's the turn one lily <clears throat> there's an energy and i assume we're gonna see a tempest wishful button is fine we're never going to attack so it's not a big deal it's really not a big deal Shuggle GX can't be damaged, yeah. There's another Ray, hopefully he hits on Guzmas off of the Stormy Winds. No, but he does hit the Latias Prism Star, which is a very good card for, for us that he hits. Two energy in the discard pile, three in play, right? So, Crouching Hammer, Tails. Unfortunately, and then I think I'm gonna go for the Lusamine on the Cynthia, and then I think I'm gonna go grab another Whalmer, right? Because I'm gonna need a lot of non GXs here, and I'm gonna use Phantom Winds, just put that back, and then I'll pass. Nothing else to do here. Turn on Lily and a Tempest doing my my job for me. Yeah, he, he didn't go for the Tempest, which I think makes sense. And it also indicates that he has very candy V cold to ISU. Or he's taking it like slowly. That's another option. You see a Lily for three. What would be amazing is for Ray. Oh okay. For Ray to just hit the shuffle for 150 damage and then we would get to his roll and go out into the Koopa. We're gonna see the first strong charge. Having failed that crushing hammer was really sad. Not fighting a Stevens yet is also pretty sad. The tail slip was also pretty sad. And Rayquaza is gonna be a tough matchup no matter what you do, 
right? No matter what you do, Raycon is going to be a very tough matchup. He does power up the Vigo ult, which makes sense. Koopa is going to be the key card here. I'm really hoping I can find my second Koopa here. Hello, Iberserk. Real games, Dots, yay. Each of my students in your family won a league challenge this weekend. That's great. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really glad for you guys. Congratulations. Um, so you won as well, Mark? That's really awesome. And hello, HPK tank. I'm gonna see a field lore, get rid of my stadium. That's fine. 17 cards left. All right, 17 cards left. We're gonna lose the shuckle here. So first two prizes there. Now it's gonna be cool though if he has to retreat the raid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Only half his energy gone though. That's not great. Is there all another good top deck to get? And then nope. Not the greatest hands, honestly. So I'm gonna pass. Probably gonna end up losing the Hoopa. I'm just gonna have to Cynthia again. Hi, Berserk, you have a cup coming up this Friday. Should you play CDT with Evolve Belt GX or Gardevoir? Um, that's a good question. CDT, I like it, um, but I feel like it's a bit frail sometimes. I like the raw power from Gardevoir. Oh, you weren't including yourself, Mark, I'm sorry. Wow, a second switch. Already in hand too. That's really bad. That is actually really bad news. My opponent running two switches is really, really bad news for us. Hello, Date. Thanks so much for being here. One basic water and an Articuno. Noivern, that would probably be very helpful. Yeah, that would probably be very helpful indeed. Okay, so definitely want to get back the Hoopa, right? Definitely want to get back the Hoopa. And then we're gonna Cynthia again. We're not cycling through a lot of our deck though, that's the main issue. Um, second Hoopa definitely going down. Gonna bodybuilding Dumbles, the Whaler. And then we'll pass. CDT Zorg, the CDI, Nine Tails. Why is it not CDN rather than CDT? I don't know. And yeah, Eveltal GX is a pretty good tech in that deck. Definitely a pretty good tech. Okay, so we see a Guzma. On to the other Waylord. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the second Guzma, however. <laughs> Rail, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry. Yeah, Zoro Desi Tales. That makes sense. Like, I, I get it. I just. It makes more sense to me for it to be CDN than CDT. Like, why would you abbreviate half the name? <laughs> oh, wow, my opponent's also playing Tate and Liza. So he's playing all the switching cards and the Lima. Wow, <laughs> interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually 10 short. That is actually 10 short of the knockout, which is pretty cool to see. Um. Okay, if I Plumeria, I can't Acerola. I feel like I have to Acerola into a Hoopa here. I think that's the right play. To go out into the Hoopa, and then next turn I will Steven's Resolve and start trying to get rid of some energy. Maybe Plumeria might actually be the play. Plumeria away the Fab and the Enhance Hammer. Okay, so we're gonna see a Strong Charge. Hopefully we see a Retreat though. That would be good. Oh wow, fails the search. Have we successfully done this? I feel like my opponent was just way too aggressive. Like you honestly don't need to Stormy Winds at all because you get rid of resources, right? 
I got see a Guzma. Wait, what does that even accomplish? Why would I just wasted a Guzma? My opponent literally just wasted a Guzma. Okay, so eventually he's gonna draw the thing, the energy recycling system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Plumeria away the energy from the active. That Guzma was probably my opponent's worst misplay here. And I'll pass, and then next turn I will Steven's resolve. And Team Polyswag, Alex, thank you so much. Happy holidays to you as well. Very kind of you. I don't know why there's no sound on the notifications, but thank you so much. 15 months in a row of support, Alex. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, my opponent just drew past. I could Cynthia or I can Stevens. I think I'm gonna Stevens. Hello, Henry, how are you doing? Um, okay, so counter catcher could be good. I feel like Double Crushing Hammer plus Stevens makes sense. Right? Because I already have an Acer Ola. And Team Polyswag, wow, <laughs> all the MMs. Thank you so much. 99 MMs. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. I feel like those MMs didn't really do, do that justice. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing, Alex? Are you going to be at Dallas? There you go, that's a lot more M&Ms. Okay, my opponent passes again. Let's... Okay, if I get rid of the energy on the Vika Volts, on the Vika Volt, then it's hard for him to deal with the Hoopa, right? And another head flip, we will take that. I'll take away the yellow, because then maybe he can't attack. And then my opponent didn't attack me, so we're gonna Steven resolve again. And then... <laughs> And then let's definitely grab Plumeria. And there we got the victory. So I feel like my opponent rushed it. Like he had all the tools. He had Tatum Lysas, he had double switch, he had Guzma. He just needed to be patient. If he had been patient, he 100% would have won that match. But alas, that was not the case. So let's find another match for Waylord. I believe this is Buzzle, Lycanroc, Ninetales. So the combination of our Pokemon will certainly be interesting here. We get a hello, we will send a hello back. Thankfully we don't start a gnome, because you don't want to reveal a gnome. You really don't want to reveal a gnome. You actually want to focus on the Waylords. That way you discourage them from benching Alolan Mock, and therefore they don't turn off the gnome. Okay, so Brooklet Heal will kind of help my opponent, right? But I really don't mind getting another whale right here. And then I believe I'll just sit, yeah. The second is, it's not just like Expanded Archin, I Berserk, but um, it's very similar. Like, that's the, the idea behind it, for sure. Right? Tertuga or Archen or Lilip, they go from the discard to the deck. So you couldn't go from the bench to the deck. So in one of them you need a way to discard it, in the other you need it, you need a bench space open. Which shouldn't be an issue with this deck. Okay. So we're gonna see a useless. Well not so useless choice I guess. Uh, it's probably pretty useless. One Articuno and one Water in this is probably a good call. Instead of the second Shockle, perhaps? Probably a good call. Okay, we're gonna see Lele for Lily. This deck doesn't have any energy recovery though, so we have to keep that in mind. I like Tier 2 actually. I really do like the Tier 2 guy. Useless counter gain as well. We're gonna see an ultra ball.
Why? Why am I not getting any sound? I don't understand the wall. So we're gonna evolve the Whaler. I feel like I should get my fourth Whaler out. Yeah, that works. Cause I do have my four four Whaler. And then we'll Cynthia. If Suicune is discarded and you can't get it out, that would be bad. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so we have a couple turns to buy ourselves time, right? With the Ace Roll and the Max Potion. The bench damage is annoying for sure. <laughs> We're gonna see a Professor Kukui. There is the energy finally. I mean, once my opponent takes a knockout, ooh, that's awesome. We can just keep using Counter Catcher on the Diancy. Um, three, at least three, maybe four Guzmas available for my opponent. I'm gonna Brooklet. Okay, I'm gonna Brooklet for. So we could, and then bait my opponent into going after it, into placing the 30 there, and if he does then I just shuffle it back into attack. If so is discarded and you can't get it out, it would be bad indeed, I Berserk, that is very true. What do I think of Meganium Mill in Expanded? Um, probably not very good. Expanded is a completely different format, I don't think Meganium can work in Expanded. Okay, we're gonna see an ultra ult for Lycanroc to bring up the Suicune? Maybe. No, goes for the Night Tilt, okay. We haven't gotten turn 1 Stevens. I feel like the turn 1 Stevens is what really gets you going with this deck. And we haven't been able to find turn 1 Stevens. You only play 4 copies, I guess. Field Blower and Switch. Interesting choices. Reveals that he does have a switch, however. I mean, am I gonna let him take this prize? I think I am. I'm gonna use my ability. My opponent didn't fall for the bait. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a prize here on the whale bird, that's okay. Yeah, you won't even be able to candy out your first mid game even expanded. <laughs> okay, so there's the extra energy. Um, Faba is not useful at this point in time. So his GX attack, 6 by 4 times plus that, is a knockout. So maybe it wasn't great to use an explosion, maybe I should have used a Cirola. Because then I promote this guy. Yeah, I probably should have Ace Roll it. Yeah, I should have Ace Roll it. Okay, goes for the Jet Punch. What do I think of Greninja's or Attack Team? Just like Darkrai X? I mean, it deals more damage than Darkrai X, right? The drawback is it deals um, 30 damage, I guess. I mean, not the drawback. The, the drawback, it deals more damage than Darkrai. The drawback is the three price cards. Um, I think it's okay. Um, I don't expect it to be very dominant, honestly. Jeez, we can't find Steven's advice. We can't find Steven's advice. Why? Why can't I find Steven's advice? Is Buzzcarp good in standard again? You saw Grandmanly win that cup with it. Um, I wouldn't expect it to be good again. 
Not 100% sure on B, but I wouldn't expect it to be too great. Okay, so maybe my play... Okay, there's a Stevens. Good. My play might be to try and get the Diancy up in the active. He's already used up a switch, I don't think he has to. And then only have one Pokemon in play. That might be my call here. Do I have Max Potion? Yeah, Max Potion. So that way, if he wants a prize card, he has to use a GX. Oh no, the GX attack doesn't even get him a prize card. Okay, so Steven's Resolve. I'm gonna go Counter Gatcher, Max Potion, and another Steven's for sure. Right, that way I can keep getting any three cards I want, which is great. You wonder if he plays Ditto Electrode, Alex? I mean, if he does, then he misplayed by not benching the Ditto. By filling up his bench too quickly and not benching the Ditto. Right? Do I like Meganium Middle in Standard Telly? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so my opponent actually doesn't get a knockout, no matter which attack he uses. Right? The GX move deals 220, which is not enough. Unless he field lowers, right? He does have field lower, that's why I didn't play the other bodybuilding dumbbell. Yeah, there's a field lower. So he really wants a KO here. Which is fine. Which is fine. And yeah, I'm not worried about the Ditto Electrode purely because he doesn't have um Okay, so now his maximum damage output was not con not counting not accounting for the beast is 180 damage. And with the beast it's 210. Right? So I can stick this here. Okay, so what I can do is prepare for the Acerola thingy play next turn. So I'm gonna grab Acerola. And then I'm gonna grab another Stevens and perhaps Plumeria. Crushing Amber could. No, Plumeria effectively stops that guy. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a grind to win this one for sure. It's gonna be a very, very big grind here. To win this one, but I I think it's possible. Unless my opponent runs a second switching card. Okay, go for the jet punch, which makes sense. So I believe that Acerola on the active plus counter gatcher on the Diancy is gonna be pretty good. Yeah. Wow, look. <laughs> <laughs> my Wailerd in my hand still has 80 damage. That's so odd. That is so weird. Okay. Okay. Wailerd style is back indeed, bird boy. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I, Buzzcarp Shrine doesn't seem like the best deck, honestly. Okay, so definitely gonna Plumeria here. Going to Plumeria way the 80 damage Wailerd, I think. Yeah, and the Shockle. And then get rid of this energy so that Diancy is trapped. It's not a lot of energy gone though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 13, maybe 14 energy. Yeah, it immediately has the other energy. Evan has played two Professor Kukui, so does he have a third one? That's the question here. Okay, so I'm gonna bodybuilding dumbbell. And then my next play is two. Because with the beast he's dealing 190 to 10, right? So that's not a KO. I wanna take the risk. Huh. If I I actually I don't need to risk this. Well I kinda want this to be a surprise. Okay, so I'm, I'm taking a bit of a risk here. If I really wanted not to risk it, I would max potion. But I feel like that's a bit too much. 
Um, okay, let's just Stevens here. I'm gonna Stevens for Isarola. I'm gonna Stevens for Lose that means so I can start looping that. And I guess Counter Catcher to have that in hand. Yeah, to have access to it for sure. I think that's more crucial than the crushing hammers because I can loop loose. I mean, I mean loop plumeria. Riskier than you would have played that turn for sure. Okay, so there. Oh, okay. So he can never knock out the whaler actually. Ooh, interesting. Does not retreat. So then let's. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Okay, so then let definitely good call on bringing this, on having this out. Maybe I'll let him commit a third energy to the Diancy and then I counter capture the Nine Tails. Right? Yeah, right. So lose I mean into Plumeria plus Stevens. And then I'll pass. <laughs> US viewers win either way, whether you risk it or not, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> if the risk doesn't pay off, then I'm in trouble. If it does, then cool. Okay, my opponent decides to ultra wall away a Ligon Rock. Why hold the catcher? Because I don't mind getting hit. I'd rather, because I want him to commit another energy to the Diancy. And because there's no way he KOs my Wailerd right here. Yeah, like, look, he's he's really committing to getting that third energy on the Diancy. And there it is. Yeah. There it is. Why am I giving him a turn to Beast? Because even with the Beast and the 30 damage I had, it was not a knockout. And if he does that, if he retreats into the Beast energy and attacks me with a Boswell, um, I go Acero La Hoopa, and he's already discarded two energy with the Diancy. So I generally think that was the right move, guys. Like I am basically baiting my opponent. Was Kukui Beast not enough? Yes, it would have been, but he's also already played two Kukuis. So I'm banking on the fact that my opponent does not have a second field door or a third Kukui based on the assumptions um, or based on previous knowledge of um, other boss rock decks. Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to heal here. Now I'm going to counter catcher. Although now I wish I had a Kuzma in this. Now I wish I had a Kuzma in this. Thank you so much, Alex, for the extra five. <laughs> very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. And <laughs> there you go. Mission accomplished indeed. Okay. You should not play around a third Kukui, right? Like, I feel like that would be a little too much. Okay, and now the only way Ninetales attacks me is with um, special energy. So as long as I can deny that, I should be able to loop my Plumeria. Like between Enhanced Hammers, I'm hoping I can deny the retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven basic energy have been committed. There's a special energy, so I won't let him retreat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Plumeria. Um, the Buzzle, right? Because Diancy is not a scary Pokemon to deal with. So I'm just gonna loop the Plumeria here. Discarding. What's not safe? The Brooklets and the Tate and Liza. Yeah, the Tate and Liza. Cause I'm not gonna win with the Gnome this turn. Well, this game. So maybe that would have been an argument to discard the unknown. Okay, and then we pass. And then if he commits a basic energy here, we go for the crushing hammer. But he's not even doing that. So now I lose a mean loop, which is great. And then I even get my third one, which is awesome. Okay, I feel like we've done this, guys. I feel like we have my opponent under Control here. Yep, there we go. See, one Pokemon, no chance for Guzma. Already used up the switch, already used up the field lore. 
assuming there's no third Kukui. Like the times you use Kukui digging for that energy, once again, my opponents get like desperate when they don't need to. Um, so yeah, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty solid showings of this deck. You have to play it very, very smart though. You have to calculate every single of your moves. And if you do that, then you're in a good spot. If you don't, then you can get a little bit behind. Okay. So, Chuan, Chuan, we get to go first. That's awesome. Turn one Stevens. No turn one Stevens, but we do start Hoopa and we have Cynthia to start us off. So, not terrible. Not terrible by any means. I feel like this is a nice leap challenge deck, possibly. Okay. So my opponent starts will picks and there's the turn one Stevens, which is very nice to see. Um, okay, so definitely grab a Brooklet, which is essentially at least one Whalemur, maybe more. And then let's grab another Stevens. And then let's grab... We have a Faban, we have a Plumeria. I feel like let's go ahead and grab a Whalemur, so that we can bench two of them at once, right? So that was a setup, Stevens. Any particular matchups that are rough for the deck? Um, Rayquaza, right? Rayquaza is definitely very rough. Um, what else is difficult? I mean, the Malawars that have um, Altar of the Moon and the Natural Switches, those are pretty difficult as well. And we're up against Boss Rock again, so... That is good news. I'm gonna even play the Brooklet to entice my opponent um, to go grab his Diancy and deal extra damage and all of that. Um, no energy in play just yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stevens. Now here is where I want, um, well, yeah. I do want to set up a second Waylord. I think I definitely want an Acer Ola. And then I want some um, item disruption, so I can lose something back for, this two, for the two Stevens. Yeah. Do you play the cute energies to be able to attack? No. No, 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 I do not. No basic energies here. There's a Diancy, so immediately we have a very juicy <laughs> target to go after, right? A very juicy target to go after. Will my opponent be playing Judge? Will he not be? That is the question. What a deck this is. Um, I reserve what's my favorite tag team card? Oof. I feel like Whaler and Magikarp is probably my favorite one. I feel like Snorlax TV has a lot of potential in Malamar decks. Um, or in things like Magnuson decks. Um, but my favorite one is probably Whaler Magikarp or Venus or Sally, one of those two. Wow, Rafa, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very kind of you, Rafa. No worries. Thank you so much for the bits. Wow, that's very kind of you. And I guess, okay, you check out, you didn't read the, the title. I thought, check out Happy Table Cheer. You can actually send M&Ms, Rafa, or Ruben, sorry, in case you want to do that. You can actually send um, M&Ms now instead of regular bits for next time. Um, how to do it is in the title of the stream. But thank you so much, 650 bits. Very kind of you. Happy holidays to you as well. Okay, so there's a basic energy. Let's try and remove that. We fail. I mean, I don't mind letting him take a prize, right? I really don't mind that. Um, him powering up the non jigs puzzle is probably a goodish call, except he can never KO my Waylords. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben. There you go. Thank you so much for the MMs. Very, very kind of you. I guess Team Polyswag's first place didn't last for too long. Okay, so then what else do you want to do? I mean, I feel like I'm okay letting the Hoopa go down, right? It activates Countercatcher. I can just grab the other Hoopa right here. 
Um, I can grab the other crushing hammer, try to hit that one. And then I have an Acer roll already. The Cynthia's are now being kind of annoyingly useless. And then bodybuilding dumbbells doesn't hurt. I'm probably gonna float very next turn though. Maybe, uh, okay, instead of the hoop, I probably should have grabbed Shockle. Instead of the hoop, I probably should have grabbed Shockle. Thank you so much, Ruben, for everything, really. Happy holidays to you as well. What's your job? Why are your holidays busy at your job? I feel like I've asked you before, but I'm not sure. Okay, so there's a boss rule. Okay, and I didn't even notice. My button already used up a switch, which is great. Which is really, really great. Okay, so there's the first energy. I mean, the first KO, which will now activate Counter Catcher. And we might have to do the same thing where we Acer Roll up plus Counter Catcher on the same uh, Pokemon. All right? So I feel like I'm gonna get rid of this energy. He's and <laughs> duh. <laughs> Duh, right? Okay, and then... Yeah, the Plumeria, I'm not gonna bother with the Plumeria. I'm just gonna lose, I mean, for two Stevens. And then we shall pass a Rudy. We shall pass a Rudy. Now my opponent needs Beast Energy plus Kukui to knock out a Bodybuilding Dumbbells um, Wailer. We might see a Kuzma here. No, we see the second switch, in fact. We see the second switch. And we are now going to... Um, Twife Baba? Yeah. Uh, is that the best play, though? Yeah, let's Baba. Maybe I should pull Maria. Nah, uh, let's Baba. Okay. Okay, so now the strategy I feel like is going to be let that buzzle get powered up let that buzzle knock out my waylord then acer all that back this waylord go out like bench the hoopa go out into the hoopa against his buzzle he's already used up two switches and then he won't be able to guzman then triple counter catcher should be enough like i'll just keep bringing up the buzzle right i feel like that's the strategy now so maybe i should just have him commit as many energy already as many energy as possible. Yeah, just Plumeria double synth, yeah. That's fine. And then it'll pass. You start playing Hearthstone, MBB, how are you enjoying it? How is that going for you? I've been playing quite a bit of Hearthstone as well myself. It's just so easy to like get, um, get games in. A lot faster than Pokemon for sure, which is what's appealing. It's like 30 card decks, um, you can play an aggro deck, and you can get like 10 games of Hearthstone when you can play like three games of, um, three games of, um, of Pokemon. Okay, so we see another Jet Punch. No energy commitment this time though. No energy commitment this time. Only three energies committed so far. I'm gonna attach this to prevent any possible knockout, and then I'm gonna play Stevens. That was pretty. Maybe I should, I should have just max potioned. Okay, so we're gonna prep for that upcoming turn by grabbing another Plumeria, I feel. Um, I don't have to lose any surprise. Yeah, I think this is fine. Actually. Yeah, like this. I'm never going to let him get a double knockout on my Wailers. Like, I'll definitely make sure that doesn't happen. And he has no more space for Marshadow. 
Busrock usually does not play Judge, so that is good. Ruben, what's meta for standard? Just started to play again. I mean, meta for standard, Naganadel with Blacephalon. Um, there's... Uh, oh gosh, there's a Krogan. Um, Naganadel with Blacephalon. Wow. I mean, it's really just not getting a knockout here. Okay, I'll heal. And I just, I don't want to Plumeria. Do I? Yeah, let's Plumeria. A Stevens and the Wailer. And all the other cards I want in my hand. And then we'll pass. Um, Gardevoir with Swampert and Alola Ninetales. Buzzrock with Alola Ninetales. Um, Decidio Eyes or Galola Ninetales. Um, what else is meta? Zora Gyarados, and there's a victory. Awesome. So I guess my opponent just didn't want to play <laughs> the super long game. I don't know. Um, my opponents are just way too eager to start attacking. They need to be saving those switches, though. They need to be saving those switches. And so we are going to go undefeated with this Wailer deck pretty nicely. Right? Pretty, pretty nicely. So yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, guys. It really helps out the channel. If you're live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere, guys. I will be right back in just a second with our next deck, which is not going to be as annoying as the spoiler deck, but um, it's going to be a new concept, which is the attacking Steelix. Now, probably for the Wailer deck, I do feel like instead of that second Shuckle, having one or Tikuno, could be a very good call, right? Could be a very good call. And you need something for the water energy. I mean, well, you can Stevens for both, I guess. So that's actually not bad. You can Stevens for both. What's the cut though? Everything seems very crucial in this deck. Maybe you could play 4-3 Waylord. Maybe the Waylord is the cut. I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, so this would be the, the changes I would make, I guess, to the list Yeah, after playing those three games. So yeah, if you want to annoy the heck out of everyone, definitely play this deck. And so guys, I will be right back in just a second. Don't go anywhere.